Welcome back, sports fans. Mike Kretz here. Hey, a big sports day here, so buckle up. We don't have a lot of time. Let's get to the Lady Mavs hosting Dixie State right now. Okay, out to Brownson we go in the third quarter. This is the Trailblazers running the break. That's Maddie Loftus finishing the play for two. But, man, Daniela Turner is ready to fight and keep the Mavs in the game. This is a really sweet take, sending it in off the backboard. Allie Franks was doing her thing, too, hitting the floating jumper, taking it from the handoff from three-point range. Blazers up 17 in the fourth quarter. She and Turner had a bit of back and forth. Another good take here. Franks is still keeping her team ahead, splashing it from the baseline. Daniela Turner, well, she keeps the pressure up, hitting the spinning jumper. She's playing her part, and so are the rest of the Mavs. This time, passes it off to Sophie Anderson. She knocks it down on the other end. Mavs playing stifling D, and watch how fast they run the break here up to Sydney Brandon. She turns on the Jets. She won't get it to go, but draws the foul and knocks down both free throws. 51-43, Dixie State. Turner working the perimeter, hits up Brandon. She comes down low, draws the foul and the bucket this time. 146, a five point game after the freebie, but this is anything but free. Brandon with the steal, keeps her head up, laser focused, court awareness here, sucks the defender out of the way, and dishes it off to Turner. She cans it. The lead is now down to three. Trailblazers have officially gone cold. Brandon with the rebound again, running the court. Sports fans, you know who she's looking for. Daniela Turner, please give her all three of those. We are tied up. Kelsey Siemens, she's going to try and give the Mavericks the lead here, but the shot is no good. Turner gets fouled on the battle for the board in the bonus so from the line Mavs now lead by two last 10 seconds Blazers they still can't buy one and Brandon pulls it down a foul would send her to the free throw line and yeah that's ball game Mavericks go on to win 59 to 54 completing the 17 point comeback those women grab their 20th win of the season and punch the Lady Mavs tickets to the RMAC tournament gotta love that basketball okay over to the men's we go a game that they're trying to make a comeback of their own. Michael Skinner hitting up Ethan Richardson. Man, he makes it look easy in there. This time it's going to be Georgie Dancer who's driving, stops, kicks it out to Colton Peterson. He's got cash from the corner. Mavs down by 10, but the Trailblazers getting it too. That's Hunter Schofield down low. And this is a really good dribble drive by Dacent, uh, Young Blood. Mavericks uh, say we can work inside too. D Georgie Dancer floats it in for Richardson, and he gets the silky hook shot to go. Then don't blink or you'll miss it. Skinner hits up Tommy Nuno, and look how fast they get the ball to Ethan. Menzies all alertly cutting in and getting two. Mavs cut the lead to four. A little later, Nuno wants to cut it to one with a knife he uses for his inside game. Unfortunately, Mavs fans, after a timeout, the Blazers, they start to put it back together. Youngblood feeding Schofield in the post. Later, Youngblood hitting Andre Wilson, who's happy to show Bronson his three-point game. And then even later, Youngblood is doing it himself, hitting the transition pull-up. And just like that, Dixie's back up by eight, doing it on defense, too, drawing a charge on Tommy Nuno. Michael Skinner isn't giving up yet, coming in hot and getting two. Two go, and then on defense, coming away with the steal and throwing it down. But despite that effort, the Mavs still fell short to Dixie State, 67 to 62. 